Imagine a world where food scarcity is a thing of the past. Is it a utopian dream, or could it be our reality in the face of increasing population and changing climate conditions? In our world today, food security is a growing concern. With the global population projected to reach nearly 10 billion by the year 2050, the demand for food is expected to increase significantly. Yet, our planet's resources are finite, and traditional farming practices may not be sufficient to keep up with this rising demand. What's more, the specter of climate change looms large. Changing weather patterns, increasing temperatures, and unpredictable rainfall can wreak havoc on traditional farming, potentially leading to reduced crop yields and increased food insecurity. These are challenges that we cannot afford to ignore, but it's not all doom and gloom. There's a silver lining on the horizon, and it comes in the form of sustainable and innovative farming practices. These practices aim to increase food production while minimizing the impact on the environment. They are giving us new ways to grow food that are not only efficient, but also kind to our planet. Take hydroponics, for instance. This method of farming allows us to grow plants without soil, using mineral nutrient solutions in water instead. Or aeroponics, where plants are grown in an air or mist environment. These methods can yield more crops per square foot than traditional farming, and they use less water too. Then there's vertical farming, where food is grown in vertically stacked layers, often integrated into other structures like skyscrapers or repurposed warehouses. This could be a game changer in urban areas where space is at a premium. And let's not forget genetically modified crops, which can be engineered to withstand harsh weather conditions, resist pests, and produce higher yields. To overcome these challenges we need to look at new ways of farming. Ways that are not only sustainable but also efficient and productive. These innovative farming practices might just be the key to ensuring food security for future generations. So, let's explore them further, and see what the future of farming might look like. Imagine growing plants without soil. Sounds impossible, right? But that's exactly what hydroponics is all about. A vision of the future where we transcend the bounds of traditional farming methods, hydroponics is a revolutionary approach to agriculture. Hydroponics, derived from the Greek words hydro meaning water and ponos meaning labor, is a method of growing plants in nutrient-rich water, rather than soil. A seemingly counterintuitive concept, hydroponics challenges our conventional wisdom about plant growth. This innovative method of farming allows us to cultivate plants in a controlled environment, wherein nutrient levels are meticulously managed, ensuring optimal plant growth. By eliminating the need for soil, we essentially remove a variable from the equation, giving us greater control over plant health and productivity. One of the most striking benefits of hydroponics is its significant reduction in water usage. Traditional farming methods can be incredibly water-intensive, but hydroponics uses approximately 70% less water. This is because water in a hydroponic system is recirculated, reducing waste and allowing for more efficient use of this precious resource. Another advantage is the reduced space requirement. Hydroponic systems can be stacked vertically, making it possible to grow more food in less space. This opens up possibilities for urban farming, enabling us to bring agriculture into the heart of our cities and reduce the distance our food travels from farm to fork. Moreover, hydroponics offers the potential for indoor farming. This means we can grow food year-round, regardless of the weather outside, making us less dependent on the whims of Mother Nature and more resilient to the impacts of climate change. So you see, hydroponics isn't just about growing plants without soil, it's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, making agriculture more sustainable, and ensuring food security for our ever-growing population. With hydroponics we can grow food in places where traditional farming was never possible before. And that, my friends, is the magic of innovation. What if we could grow plants with even less water than hydroponics? Welcome to the world of aeroponics. In the realm of innovative farming practices, Aeroponics stands out as a method where plants are grown in an air or mist environment, without the need for soil or an aggregate medium. It sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? But, it's a reality that's being implemented around the globe right now. Aeroponics is a step further than hydroponics, which already reduces water usage compared to traditional soil farming. Instead of immersing plant roots in a nutrient-rich water solution, as in hydroponics, aeroponics involves suspending the plants in the air. The roots dangle freely, exposed to a nutrient-rich mist that provides all the necessary elements for growth. So why go to all this trouble? Well, the advantages of aeroponics are quite significant. For starters, the growth rate is faster. 
With roots exposed directly to nutrients and oxygen, plants can absorb what they need quickly and efficiently, leading to faster growth and higher yields. Secondly, aeroponics reduces the risk of disease and pests, which are often associated with soil-based farming. Without soil, there's no place for many common plant pathogens to thrive. This means less need for harmful pesticides, contributing to a more eco-friendly farming method. And let's not forget water usage. Aeroponics uses even less water than hydroponics, making it an excellent solution for farming in water-scarce areas. The misting system ensures that water is used efficiently, with minimal wastage. But the cherry on top? Aeroponics is scalable. It's possible to set up large-scale aeroponic farms but it's also feasible for small-scale indoor farming, making it accessible to all, regardless of space constraints. As we grapple with the realities of a growing global population and changing climatic conditions, innovative solutions like aeroponics are not just fascinating, they're essential. Aeroponics could revolutionize how we grow food, especially in water-scarce areas. Now imagine if we could stack these hydroponic and aeroponic systems vertically. This is the concept of vertical farming. Vertical farming is a revolutionary concept where plants are grown in stacked layers, often integrated into urban structures like skyscrapers or repurposed warehouses. It's like stacking multiple greenhouses on top of each other, creating a tower of green in the heart of the city. The beauty of vertical farming lies in its efficient use of space. In traditional farming, a plot of land can only accommodate a single layer of crops. But with vertical farming, the sky's the limit. You can have lettuce on the first floor, tomatoes on the second, strawberries on the third, and so forth. It's like having multiple farms all within the footprint of a single building. This is not just a matter of maximizing space, it's also about maximizing production. Vertical farms can operate year-round, unaffected by seasons or weather conditions. This means they can produce crops continuously, ensuring a steady supply of fresh produce. And then there's the matter of transportation. Today much of the food that lands on our plates has traveled long distances, often crossing state lines or even oceans. This journey not only adds to the cost of the food but also contributes to its carbon footprint. Vertical farming offers a solution. By growing food in the heart of the city, we can drastically reduce transportation costs and the associated emissions. We can have fresher food, at a lower cost with a smaller environmental impact. But perhaps the most compelling argument for vertical farming is its potential to reshape our urban landscapes. Imagine a city where skyscrapers are not just offices or apartments, but also farms. Imagine stepping into a building in downtown Manhattan and finding yourself in a lush, green farm. Vertical farming could allow us to produce food right where the majority of the population lives, in cities. It's a vision of the future that's not just sustainable, but also beautiful and delicious. Finally, what if we could make our crops more resistant to pests, diseases and harsh climates? This is where genetically modified crops come in. Genetically modified or GM crops are not a new concept. For decades, scientists have been manipulating the genetic material of plants to enhance certain desired traits. The aim? To create crops that are more robust, nutritious, and resistant to adverse conditions. Imagine a world where crops could withstand drought, resist pests, and provide more nutritional value. That's the promise of GM crops. Crops like BT cotton, which is engineered to resist bollworm attacks, or golden rice, fortified with vitamin A to combat malnutrition, are examples of how genetic engineering has been leveraged for the betterment of humanity. Yet GM crops are not without controversy. Questions about their safety, both for human consumption and the environment, are valid concerns. Critics argue that we are playing with nature, that long-term effects are unknown, and that we may be opening Pandora's box. While these concerns are not to be taken lightly, it's important to consider the potential benefits. With the world population expected to reach nearly 10 billion by the middle of the century, and climate change making farming conditions more unpredictable, we need innovative solutions to ensure food security. Genetically modified crops can be one of those solutions. They have the potential to increase yields, reduce the use of chemical pesticides, and make farming more sustainable. They can help us adapt to changing climates and ensure that we can feed our growing population. But, like any technology they need to be managed responsibly. Rigorous testing and regulation need to be in place to ensure safety and mitigate potential risks. Whether we like it or not, genetically modified crops could play a significant role in securing our future food supply. Only time will tell if we can strike the right balance between innovation and caution. 
between the promise of abundant resilient crops and the preservation of natural biodiversity. It's a challenge that we must face for the future of farming and for the future of our planet.